Oh, hola, as Carlos. As part of this uh, festivity for the birthday party for the uh, five-year-old, we are going to play dodgeball. We are going to play shirts and skins, and I will be taking my shirt off. No! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> taking your shell off. I just off. think I'm going to buy it. I will be taking my shell off. <laughs> And now, oh, the man. real Mitch McConnell. Here he is. Mitch McConnell. Historically, there have been abortion votes on the floor of the Senate. Uh-huh. None of them have achieved 60 votes. Uh-huh. This particular measure the Democrats have today is particularly radical. Radical. And I'll call on um, others to comment on the radical nature of it. Yeah. But I think it's safe to say there aren't 60 votes there at the federal level, no matter who happens to be in the majority, no matter who happens to be in the Mm -hmm. White House. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Carlos, just to just to review for you, uh, not radical to force uh, half the country to give birth against their will. That's not radical. But uh, giving giving women uh, letting women have a right they've had for 50 years, that would be radical. That would be radical. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, please, Mitch, go on. Mm -hmm. Uh, So I think the widespread sentiment Uh of my conference is that this issue will be dealt with at the state level. Um, the Supreme Court, if this becomes the decision, has obviously said this is ripe for discussion in democratic bodies. We happen to be a democratic body. Schumer mm. is proving that by having us vote on it uh, tomorrow. But I think I'm pretty safe in saying most of my members. It is not when they get power back, if he becomes the leader, they will blow up the filibuster to make it. A nationwide ban, or the which will, like, and then when someone asks them about straight, states' rights, they'll say, "I don't remember ever saying I don't." No, I'm, I'm say consistent that? in saying that I don't remember what I said. I am consistent in, in in saying that I don't remember what I did yesterday or had if I had oatmeal or <laughs> lettuce for breakfast. Remember when, right? He's like, it's still close to an election. Barack Obama does not get a Supreme Court. It was what? It was a year, almost a year. Ninety-three yeah. days. It was almost a year yeah. to the next election. And then Amy Coney Barrett, literally, how many millions of people had already voted? Days. It was not close to an election. It was in the middle of an election. He's like, I don't remember saying that about Ron Garland. I don't remember. Also, it's very presumptuous of Mitch to think he'll still be the the leader in the Senate. Yes. If Trump gets in power. Yeah. Let's. Uh, Okay. Um, speaking of turtles, did you hear that? Like, can we go back to 19 for Carlos? Um, this is he. I'm shocked to find he's a senator. Danes? Is that who Montana, I'm? I believe. Oh. This is him comparing women to uh, sea turtles. Here we go. If you were to take or destroy the eggs of a sea turtle, now I said the eggs, mm-hmm. not the hatchlings, that's also a penalty, but the eggs. Mm-hmm. The criminal penalties are severe, up to a $100,000 fine and a year in prison. Now, why? Why do we have laws in place to protect the eggs of a sea turtle or the eggs of eagles? Because when you destroy an egg, you're killing a pre-born baby sea turtle or a pre-born baby eagle. Um, oh, my God. Uh, okay, no, you keep go, Carlos. Going, you go. No, oh, should we keep going? Oh, yeah, okay, keep, keep going, going. Yeah. Oh, okay. boy. All right. Yet when it comes to a pre-born human baby rather than a sea turtle, that baby will be stripped of all protections in all 50 states under the Democrats' bill they'll be voting on tomorrow. Is that what the America, the left, wants? And so, somewhere there are thousands of millions of chickens that are pissed off. What about our eggs? What about our eggs? Fuck! I hear Chicken Chorus asking that same question. Mm-hmm. Carlos, thank you. What an idiot! Bark, 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 stop eating breakfast, bark, everyone! Stop! Bark, 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 stop eating! Bark, put that omelet down. He's ordering a grand slam! Bark, 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 you, I will slap that omelet out of your mouth. So he, he doesn't. He can't just. I'm sometimes between... stunned into silence, which isn't a good uh, look on a radio oh talk show host. But I don't. Okay. All right, let's, you know what, let's just skip lightly over the whole uh, comparing women to sea turtles. And, uh, okay. Bald eagles. Right. Okay. Uh, by the way, um, who is this? Uh, Perry in New Jersey? Mm-hmm. Very good. Hi, Travis Trevor. <clears throat> oh, I love that wrote to you because yeah. you don't write to the woman. No, I, but um, I'm letting you read it. Yeah. Rick Scott, <laughs> Rick Scott says if, if a CEO does, this is what he called on Joe Biden to resign. Right. For, I don't remember right. why, yeah. but okay. Inflation. Oh, sure. Yeah. 
if a CEO does something wrong, he resigns and does something else. That's what he said of Biden. Um, he was the CEO of a company charged with the biggest Medicare fraud in history. Yeah. He resigned, kept the money, used it to become governor and a senator. So I guess he knows what he's talking about. I don't, yep. I still don't. Can you explain that to me, Carlos? Why is he not in prison? Why is he in the Senate? I don't understand. Because he's, he's a Republican. Yeah. But he Republicans don't hold their own to account. resigned, so he obviously admitted to the biggest Medicare fraud in mm-hmm. history. So now he's trying to destroy Medicare, basically. Republicans yes. don't hold their own to account. Yes. Okay, but why didn't somebody other, uh, somebody else, you know, like a he can't. Keep you know getting when they said history it? will judge them. How about we judge them now with uh, what's the word? No. Judges. How about if we yeah. judge them now with judges? He can't keep getting away with it. Okay. He can't keep getting away with it. Okay. Uh, Rick noted, uh, is he a pre-felon, like a pre-born person? Is he a pre-felon at least? Is there a chance justice will come? Here he is. In Joe Biden's economy, we have 8.5% inflation, which is a 40-year high. It's coming We've down now. We've got the highest gas prices in the history of the country. We've got a labor participation rate that's low. We've got inflation that's going way faster than wage growth. We've got a GDP that's declining. And now we've got mortgage rates they're significantly up just in, just this year. Significantly. Joe Biden gave a talk this morning and blamed everybody else on inflation. He took no responsibility and has no plan. Uh, it is not Rick Scott's plan, which is to uh, raise taxes on most of us and then also yep. destroy Medicare and Social Security. Isn't there not, isn't there not worldwide inflation due to yeah. Putin? Putin's war, yes, of Putin's aggression. War, yeah. Yes, yes. Your point is? Biden didn't t- take responsibility for Your point Putin is Biden should not resign for that? Okay. By the way, inflation is moderating. Do I have some? Wait a minute. Do I have a... Uh, oh, did, we, did you mention... Did I... We mentioned to you that Susan Collins has uh, called the police over chalk in front of her house in Bangor. Bangor? I just met her. Ah, wow, she lives in Bangor? She lives in Bangor. Okay. Which is always She's funny. She's bunker. Pardon yeah. me? Oh, Archie, the kids are making chalk art on the sidewalk. <laughs> I have to call the police, Archie. <laughs> By the way, even Mainers are even polite in chalk. They, they just wrote, Susie, please, Mainers want WHPA, meaning the Women's uh, Health Protection Act. Uh, vote Freedom yes, speech, vote yes, yes, clean up your mess. To which she hysterically called the police. They're using colors. They made a rainbow. Even the police said the message was not over overtly threatening and it was no longer visible by Monday afternoon because it's chalk. Also, <laughs> isn't a sidewalk a public right of way? Yes. yes. Yeah, that too. Um, there, were guys, there were guys in track suits like, it would be a shame if somebody found out where you live, Susan. Huh? Yeah. Gabagul. Galamad. We were saying that I, they served wine and cheese at the at the Brett Kavanaugh house. The neighbors served wine and cheese at that protest. No. Very civilized. Well, I, um, I think in Maine, they served lobster rolls. Lobster rolls. Lobster. Yeah. Lobster. lobster rolls and, and free chips. chalk. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> um, for the second day in a row, though, the Fox Network attempted to paint pro-choice protesters as violent and hysterical. <laughs> On oh, Monday man. evening, a crowd of protesters walked slowly along Alito's Virginia Street, chanting mockery about him listening to Nickelback. Well, that is violent, that, suggesting I mean, someone likes yeah. Nickelback. Okay, well, I can understand rude. that. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. would fight. That's just rude. I would fight. They carried posters and lit candles. Oh, my that's, God. Uh-oh. That's out of line. Uh, Ted Cruz on Fox tried to spin it as a violent attack. He claimed the January 6th attack on the Capitol was just patriotic Americans peacefully protesting. It was a contrast, he said, with those outside Alita's home with candles oh what are they screaming? okay there's Sears a difference between candles and say like nazi torches in charlottesville yeah. and yeah yeah okay um do we have 18 uh fist fist and aficionado josh hawley talking about By the way, joe biden this is a day late and a dollar short mm. this condemnation mm. of, of violence this is a guy who for days has had nothing to say about these protests mm. firebombing of pro-life offices he has been silent he has encouraged um, it me? by saying that oh well we understand people's anger you know they've got a right to protest they don't have a right to do this stuff. um d- carlos did you have to see the graph everybody put up of how many um Abortion, abortion doctors have been killed and yeah. how many uh, clinics have been bombed over how many years and how many uh, receptionists shot to death and uh, on and on and on. So, um, yeah, I, Dr. Tiller t- shot uh, in church in front of his family, I guess. Yep. That's, yeah. Okay. And it wasn't Batman. Hmm. Okay. Um, oh, and then about the leak, of course. 
fisty about the leak. But just look how the left is celebrating this leak here. I mean, they're acting like this person ought to get a, a medal. And they're clearly using it. They're weaponizing the leak to try and undermine mm. the institution of the court, the independence of the court. And that's wrong. I mean, it's totally wrong. Mm. It is wrong. It's totally... I love his expression, a day late and a dollar short. He just got that of a dime book of expressions. Yeah. What a... Yes. I, what? And by the way, there's more and more evidence. Um, I think on Morning Joe, weren't they, Travis, talking about... The uh, suspicion is centering more and more on Jenny Thomas. So is yeah. then Clarence, or what do you call uh, it, uh, Ted Cruz going to say she needs to go to prison for a long time? Like if they find out it's a right wing Until ally? that happens, I'm not going to speculate on any of this stuff. I'm okay. just going to let, wait and see. Again, I say, yes. WikiLeaks. We love Julian we Assange. Like WikiLeaks. He leaked the Supreme Court. Russia, if you're listening, keep on leaking those Supreme Court documents, okay? Keep on leaking them. Okay. Uh, oh, by the way, isn't this ironic? Hello, Alanis, are you still writing over there? The Supreme Court uh, case that allows Virginia to outlaw protesting at the homes of Supreme Court justices was over a law that was enacted to protect the privacy of an abortion doctor from uh, anti-abortion rights protesters. Isn't it ironic? Yeah. Mm. Don't you think? Yeah, I, all the video I've seen, Travis, am I... Uh, Hi, what's the oh, word? No, I've um, seen oh, the they're all peacefully oh, hey. protesting. Yeah. Right? So they're trying to paint these as domestic terrorists. We've all seen the footage of January 6th. We were there for January 6th. Right. We watched it live. There's no flag. There pole. is wine and cheese at the Kavanaugh protest. 